Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Foot Birthday. It's here. It's Friday on FIFA Ultimate Team, and we finally have a promo. Once again, it is Foot Birthday Friday. We know it's been coming. The loading screens have been telling us this week, and it's finally here today on Friday. So let's talk about what we could see today content-wise, the team in packs that is already quote-unquote leaked, SBC's objectives, and tons of market movements. There's a lot to talk about with the market today with saved up packs, with SBCs that EA have released yesterday with the 83 times 10, and also are people going to be saving their packs because the promo team as of right now isn't looking that good. We'll talk about that too, but this is the loading screen that we have right now in FIFA and obviously from the quote unquote leaks that we have seen, uh, the leaks that are all but confirmed, right? Let's enter this conversation. The team that we should be seeing today, it was just absolutely thrown around Twitter all day yesterday. This is the squad that we're expecting to see posted by Nepenthes. It's not his original leak. So many other people were posting this on Twitter. It was basically uh, all over Twitter on, on Thursday. It was crazy amount of times that I saw this stuff. But these are the players that should be in. And according to this loading screen, it checks out, right? This would be Furlan Mendy with a five-star skill upgrade. This would be Lucas Mora with 95 pace. And this would be Ivan Perisic with a 90 rated right mid card. So this kind of tells us a couple things. There is going to be skill move and potentially weak foot boost as a part of this promo. Maybe some position change boost as well because Perisic is obviously a left mid. Uh, and decent upgrades. Perisic is an 84 rated card for his highest special. This is going to a 90. That's a pretty solid boost. But again, just looking at this player list and saying, wow, compare this to the old FIFAs and old foot birthdays and the cards that we got. It's just definitely not up to the hype that it used to be. And this is a huge, huge promo. So I don't know if EA is going to carry the weight today with the SBCs and the objective content that they put out or if this foot birthday is actually going to be a bit underwhelming because that's how it looks right now. Now, again, this team right here is not 100% guaranteed to show up today. Again, I want to stress that this is not confirmed by EA Sports. This is only a leak, right? But it's looking like it's very, very possible because all the names that are in here fit the hints that they have shown on the loading screen. I do not think this is Neymar. I do not think this is Gareth Bale. Would I love it if it is? Absolutely. But I don't think it matches up. And according to the leaks that we have, that is not what we will be seeing today. So let's talk about that for a second. If the squad that is in packs today is underwhelming, is that going to make people want to open their saved up packs? Now, and honestly, I think there are some people on this game that will probably wait because obviously they'll wait for a better promo team. This is probably going to be a two week promo. And of course, people are going to say, I'm going to wait and hold my packs until week two of this promo. Hopefully team two is better. We've had a couple promos this year where team two has been better. But in my opinion, for the most part, team one has been better. If you look back on all the promos this year, only a couple times has team two not been as good. So if you can, if you want to hold your packs for another week, I guess you could, but I don't feel like a lot of people are going to be able to do that. So many people are just looking forward to opening their packs. They're going to look over what this stuff is because they have no cards in their club. People's clubs are absolutely dry right now. People have no coins after all the SBCs that we have had released in the past couple of weeks. Um, people are dry on coins and they're just looking forward to up to opening these, these packs that they have saved to go and do some SBCs and to finally have coins again. So I still think you're going to see massive coin supply today and that's going to impact the market massively. Now, one other thing that's impacting the market right now, even before we get into the promo is this 83 times 10 pack. This was a part of the code that Footwatch tweeted out early Thursday morning around rewards time. They tweeted out a 10 times 83 rare, uh, rare players pack, the Prime Gaming pack, which should come out soon, and then a 2 times 86 plus pack. We have not seen the 2 times 86 plus yet, but that could be an SBC that comes today. And the whole issue with this is I wasn't expecting to see that 83 times 10 yesterday on Thursday, but what EA is doing right now is if you take a look at this game, they are really spamming us with plenty of opportunities to fill our clubs with SBC fodder. Now we're coming out of a time where SBC fodder has been very, very expensive because of, you know, Messi player of the month, Mbappe player of the month, multiple icon moments, SBCs, icon upgrade SBCs, regular flashback and player moments, SBCs. There's a lot going on in this tab on FIFA in the SBC section. And EA is like saying, here you go. Here's fodder with the 83 times 10. If they release that double 86, they got the current team league upgrade. We had a really, really solid set 
of tradable packs from marquee matchups released yesterday with a mega pack being involved, half of a 50k pack from Romania, Germany, uh, marquee matchups. So I think EA is really just supplying a lot of people right now with SBC fodder. And that's kind of interesting to me. That is sort of interesting to me that we are having all that fodder kind of you know, chucked at us, if you will, in a sense, because EA knows that so many people have saved up packs today, and they know that so many people are going to open those saved up packs. So there's going to be a huge influx of fodder. And there's also a lot of people that want to invest in those players as well, because they want to watch these cards go up as EA release more SBC. So that's why we're sort of thinking about today is EA giving us all this fodder because A, they don't want fodder to go back up as high as it was before and they want it to drop down, which will happen today. Fodder should drop today with all the saved up packs. Or B, is it because EA is planning to release a big SBC as a part of this promo? Maybe not today, but maybe the next couple of days. That could be part of the equation as well. People have been throwing around a flashback Messi, a flashback Neymar, right? We already had the flashback Ronaldo earlier this year. I think since we got that SBC, you've seen more and more people throw up concept cards and talk about the idea of another one of those SBCs happening. And even with what EA has been tweeting out recently, again, I, I talked about this in, in yesterday's video and it happened again today on Thursday, or sorry, in Wednesday's video, I talked about it and it happened on Thursday, right? You have EA retweeting some of these influencers posts, which I think are sponsored posts about FIFA Ultimate Teams of old. I kind of joined the fun today. EA did not pay me to post, but I tweeted out a little, uh, a little of my, you know, TFA's all-time 11 on FIFA, so I kind of joined the fun. They didn't retweet me, though. I'm kind of bummed. Anyways, uh, I think that there's something related to flashback cards that will be coming out this year as a part of Foot Birthday. It happened last year as well. We had Foot Favorites released as flashback SBCs. I don't know if you guys remember that. And there were a lot of SBCs and objectives last year. I don't expect the content to be thin today. I expect there to be a really large amount and, you know, probably pretty good content released. But if the stuff that is in packs is lackluster, I feel like that's going to impact the market in a way, at least for like the market rising later tonight on Friday. If there is lackluster cards in packs today, I do feel like there will be a very, very nice rise in the market. So let's kind of turn that way for a moment and talk about what is going on in this game right now with prices. Now, I've been looking a lot at icons and out of pack specials. These cards continue to drop. I mean, I'm seeing ridiculously low prices on some of these cards. Cannavaro was around 2 million coins a couple weeks ago. He is 1.5. Nine. Some of these really expensive icon moments cards have they've gotten destroyed, right? Real Ferdinand was literally three million coins this morning. I saw him at 2.6 mil flat today. Huge drop-offs on some of these icon moments. I think these cards rebound really, really well tonight because of course people have sold these cards. They're waiting to buy them until full birthday comes out, until they see what is going to be released as a part of the promo. And when they see if it's especially if it's going to be not you know, uh, the cards that are in packs, if the cards that do come out are the ones that we're seeing that are quote unquote leaked and they're not very desirable, then I think, I think you'll see people go right back out on the market and buy up cards that they've been wanting to try or buy back cards that they had already in their team. So watch for panic selling today or just watch for low prices and undercuts on icons, babies, middles, primes, and moments. Obviously primes and moments are in packs. So with the saved up pack supply that you'll see today in the first 30 minutes to an hour, you will see a ton of supply on the market. And speaking of that, again, I just want to remind you guys of what's going to happen with foot birthday cards today, because in that first hour, if you do want to try any of the brand new foot birthday cards that come out today, just like we saw with the first team of uh, future stars and the first team of what ifs, those cards got absolutely supplied like mad in the first 30 to 45 minutes but here's the caveat this time there's going to be more people than ever ready to snipe the brand new foot birthday cards when they come out today so i will say this be very careful all right be very careful with the cards that you see dropped today on fifa now i don't know if you guys remember right but some of these cards from what if team number one obviously there's a lot cheaper now this gomez card was like 1.5 mil right away he dropped down to about 1.1 in the first 30 minutes then rebounded back to 1.3 later in the evening a couple hours later sancho went from like 1.6 
down to 1.2, back all the way to 1.4 to 1.5 mil. Smalling was like 450K in the first 20 minutes. He went all the way extinct at 800,000 coins. So when you're looking at the team that is out today, of course, if it is this squad, when these cards get dropped into packs, make sure you watch the ones that are very valuable in terms of the most expensive ones because those are going to swing the most because they're going to be the most rare. That's the second thing. Value, value, rare, and just how big the stat boosts are and how hype that card is, right? Ferland Mendy's probably going to be the most hyped one. Maybe Sané could be very hyped. Lucas Mora with the links that that card gets could be hyped as well. Tiago, right? If they gave him some pace, um, you know, the stat boost for that card could be insane. Even like this Sambia card is a right back. Um, you know, I think th this card is on like footbin most popular for his um, like silver objective card or whatever it was that he had earlier this year. It's actually not showing for me right now, but Sambia had a card earlier this year and it was on the front page of footbin for a little while um, as people were searching it up. But of course, like Lucas, if he gets a huge boost today for, fo uh, for foot birthday, He's got 95 pace, which is only a plus one um, if that is actually Lucas on the loading screen. But, you know, I mean, they boost his dribbling up. They boost his pace and shoot or his passing and shooting. I mean, that could be a pretty cool card that a lot of people would want to get as it does fit the meta very, very well in this game. So that's kind of one thing that I would watch for today is if you're trading with the full birthday cards in the first hour, make sure you focus on the ones that are just really good value in terms of the card that people will want to try out the just the hype right you want to look at what we call like the hype check all the time looking at cards and footbin look at the hype check for these cards and look at the supply right away because people are going to be waiting to buy within that first 20 to 30 minutes the switch is going to flip and they're going to shoot up because there's a lot of people a lot of groups that are going to want to buy these cards so if you don't want to mess around with any of that risky stuff i would 100 percent stay focused on some of these out of pack specials that are just low that i think people are going to buy back some of the recent team of the weeks right if you see de bruyne today at like 6 30 you know that's the best de bruyne card in the game he's got 80 pace you know he might link to any of the, to one of the new is there a man city player that's supposed to be in this team there is not uh anyways I was going to say if he would link to any of the new cards or if he links to a new SBC, that could be one that you see rise up pretty well, right? You know, Goretzka is up because of his links uh, to like Nabry that's in the team of the week. Of course, uh, Sané is supposed to be getting in the team today. So that could be a card. And, and just watch a lot of your out of pack specials that are very desirable that are down a lot, right? Ansu Fati is down like 200,000 coins. You know, um, this Saka is down a, a really high amount. So just keep an eye on some of these out of pack specials, the rare ones that you see fluctuate around in price a lot. Those could be good buys. Harvey Barnes, 340K, that could be a good one. Steven Bergwijn, you know, Kamavinga was 145 earlier today. He's 158 right now. So cards like that that are rare that fluctuate, 100% keep an eye on those because I do think we see a nice rise on the market later tonight because especially, again, if the content today is a bit lackluster, you will see the stuff rise back up as people open packs, get coins, go buy players to use in the weekend league. So th those are kind of my thoughts and what I expect to happen today with the out of packs and with the brand new foot birthday cards. Um, now, of course, SBC wise, if we were to get some sort of messy or some sort of um, SBC like that today, like a big time flashback player SBC, which I wouldn't expect for day one of a promo. EA usually wants you to focus on the packs, on the brand new cards that are in the game. They want you to focus on those right off the rip when a new promo is out. So I doubt that we would get like a flashback Messi or a Neymar today, but it could happen. Who knows? Um, I would just say that today for fodder, at least let's talk about this. What happened last year on Foot Birthday is there was a bunch of saved up packs, but also we had the mid icon upgrade out last year. There was a lot of demand for fodder like there is now. Fodder dropped in the first two to three hours and then it exploded afterwards as that demand continued to be there. I do think fodder could be a good look today, but if we don't get any more big time SBCs, I'd be a little bit leery of it. But I also feel like there's so many people who have unfinished SBCs or SBCs that they want to do that are still going to be out and available. Like, you know, maybe Zambrata, maybe Makalele, uh, people working on Nedved, people working on Messi or Mbappe player of the month, even like Chicharito, Rabio, or the Bender bros. Um, I feel like there's a lot of people that have been waiting to do SBCs until today that SBC fodder during uh, the pack spam today will probably be a decent time to club stock those at the very least and especially get on the bids, right? Bids might be the best place to go after that first hour of content 
because of course you're going to see so many people open those cards, list that stuff up on the market, and you'll see some of those go down. Also, I would watch Informs. I would watch Informs big time today because I don't think this SBC right here is going to provide enough um, supply to people's clubs. I think people would rather just go buy an inform because it's way easier. It's They spend less time doing an SBC that requires an inform if they just go buy one instead of buying 83s to go doing this. So obviously this SBC is not really good value anyway. It's not 81 plus. It's not, you know, a team of the week one through 24 upgrade and the current team of the week. It's just the current one. So unless EA drops another team of the week upgrade today, um, I think informs might dip during lighting round supply, especially ones that are like out of packs. It might drag the market down a little bit with it, and then it could go up later into the nighttime. So that would be one area where I would keep my eye very closely on today as well. But it just, it's all unfolding very interestingly, right? Because we have these quote unquote leaks. I've showed you the page many times. I've showed you what's supposed to be coming out. We've looked at the loading screen. It's just, it's just set up to be a very, very interesting day today on FIFA. And I think I covered it all in terms of what we should be expecting. We've got a lot of objectives that are expiring today too. Oh, I forgot about the season, right? We're getting a new season today, a brand new season with new TFOs, new packs and stuff. I guess there is one thing like that double 86 plus pack could be a part of the packs we see inside of a season. But I honestly doubt that because I don't, I don't know if we've ever seen a pack like that other than like a normal, you know, standard pack that we see as a part of an SBC reward. Um, you know, like, you know, your electron packs, your rare gold packs. I don't know if we've ever seen like an 86 plus or an 83 plus pack apart from the 75 plus pack. I don't know if we've seen any of those inside of objectives. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't, but this is your last chance to get level 30 if you're going to grind there or, um, you know, if you're going to be com completing any of these season objectives or any of these objectives that expire with this season. So like Megidi is gone today. Uh, Pastore, I got to finish Neves because I've got four wins to go on him. That's going to be gone. Uh, Benedetto, a lot of these are going away. The, the retro reboot, if you want to get any of the classic kits, a lot of the stuff is going away and icon swaps, right? We're going to get brand new icon swaps objectives today. So you'll be able to finish off the second half of your icon swaps quest, whether you're going for Baggio, whether you're going for some of those icon packs um or if you're just going for like the 83 times 25 as well as the others all of these are going to be reset today unless they have timers on them which i don't think any of these do so a lot of these are going to get reset and we'll have a brand new season with new objective players coming out today as well so that's kind of the content that we're expecting of course the market i do feel like a lot of people have sold cards and they're just waiting to buy some stuff went up a little bit yesterday right like these pogba's the Orsic made of the match cards, they had very little supply. They went up out of packs a little bit. It was a very good day for flipping yesterday. I made a decent amount of coins. I actually made about 500K, if I'm being completely honest, on a lot of these cards that were flips. I got one more Holland. So right now I'm chilling at about 3.5 to 3.6 ish million coins in total um, after going down to 3 million at the beginning of this week. So from Tuesday until today, I've gotten back up to about 3.6, which I'm very happy with. It's been a solid week of trading, but that is what we have planned for the promo today, boys. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the content, what happens if, with this team, if it is true that that team is leaked or not, and if EA changes anything up, as well as the if they decide to do any like weekend league plus objectives like next weekend, tiered engagement rewards. They did that last year during foot birthday, so we'll 100% keep an eye on that. And uh, we'll be live streaming it all down below the, in the link in the description, twitch.tv backslash the foot account. Also check the other links down below in the description. Uh, the G Fuel code is 30% off for a limited time this weekend uh, because actually my birthday is today. So a little birthday present from G Fuel. If you want to get some of that, drop that down below. Check that link down below. It is down there. Uh, but yeah, boys, foot birthday is finally here. So let me know down below if you think you're going to open your packs today or if you're going to save or what your plan is today. I want to hear that down in the comments because I'm very curious. Um, as to what your guys' plans are, if the team that is leaked is actually going to be coming out. And if you're going to save your packs or if you're going to open or what your plan is today on FIFA. So if you like this video, make sure to hit a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out. Chucky.